Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup by Salad, and I'm here this week with my new Pride and Joy. Um, this is the Morph 35C palette, the matte one. So it has all of these colors, and as much as I'd like to use all of them on my eyeballs at once, um, today's look is showing how to use some of them. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or concerns or anything, just go ahead and comment it, and I'll have a product description out at the bottom for you guys. So on that note, let's go ahead and get started. So we're starting off with our Smashbox primer as per usual. Um, go ahead and get that all over your eyeballs, ready and primed. So we're going to take our NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and splatter that all over our eyelids. Go ahead and pat it down a little bit, and after that we're moving right into our Morph palette. Taking that one color next to the white at the bottom, it's like creamish with a flat eyeshadow brush, and go ahead and just pat that all over your lids, kind of like as a base color. After that, we're going to take a blending brush and you're going to pick that one cranberry color that's off to the side and go ahead and put that all over your crease. Just really get in there. Dig in. It's Thanksgiving dinner all over again. After you've cranberried your crease, go ahead and take an angled brush and we're going to make a shape out of the cranberry color. Just kind of like a wing shape since we're not doing a wing today. And fill it in. You can color inside the lines, right? Then we're going to take a beloved q-tip just to kind of clean up the bottom a little bit, make the lines nice and straight. Taking our NYX Gold Pigment and a flat little eyeshadow brush that makes it kind of easy to get the pigment out of the frickin' jar, uh, start patting it onto the center of your lids, moving into the inner corners. The, pen the milk pencil makes this pop out so much. Don't be afraid to get it everywhere. You want your gold to make a statement. After getting our gold on there, go ahead and go back to the blending brush with the same cranberry color and go ahead and deepen your creases once again. And just because I felt like the outer part needed to be a little darker, go ahead and take a flat brush and a black shadow and just kind of do that on the wingy part of your eyeshadow. So after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and move into some um, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes pencil and we're going to kind of tight line our eyes 
and also go ahead and do it under your eyes, on your waterline, about a quarter of a way in. Then taking any liquid liner that you have, here I'm using Heroin Make, which is a Japanese liner, uh, line the top of your eyes very thinly. Here we're doing a dramatic inner corner too, just make sure you line it all the way in and then at the bottom you just kind of curve the angle into the bottom of your eye. After we check out our eyeliner, we are moving into... Yeah, well, not that big of a deal. Um, this is probably the longest I've ever waited for it to get tacky and it actually stuck on. So go ahead and get your fake lashes on. Starting from the outside might be a little easier and then just push them in. Then taking a little angled brush while we wait for our lashes to dry a little bit onto our eyelids, go ahead and take the cranberry color and just kind of smudge it out on the bottom of your eyes right under the waterline and match it up to like the wingy part as well. Then taking the best uh, drugstore mascara to date, uh, Maybelline Rocket Lash, go ahead and get some of that on your lashes. I'm using it here in black. And make sure to get your inner corners, make your stupid mascara faces, and then you're done. See you guys next week.